Well, how are y'all doing this evening? Uh, this a uh, little bit of a change of environment too from last time because uh, I tell you what, it's getting cold out there and my garage is freaking freezing right now. So I decided I was gonna do this inside of my office. Uh, hopefully the echo is not too bad in here or the acoustics rather, but um, I opted to do it in here rather than in the garage because man, it's cold out there. Um, so uh, I wanna do a little quickie little uh, review for a um, a particular pistol that um, uh, I got a little, a little interested in due, due to a friend of mine um, using it for his, uh, well, a similar model using it for his, uh, his personal carry. So um, it's just gonna be real quick, nothing, nothing crazy fancy, anything about that, because uh, uh, you know we'll, we'll see where this ends up because you know it's, uh, it's the holiday season, you know, and and I, I really like to, um, you know, I like to get gifts for people, so. You know, uh, a certain friend of mine may have helped me out with certain things, especially with moving to the new house and everything. And, um, you know, maybe you should, uh, you should feel like giving him something back a little bit in return. And, um, yeah, so we'll just get right to it. So the thing we are talking about in question is this little guy right here. This is a Bursa Thunder, but it's in 22. And the reason why I got that is because there is a... Uh, there is a chronic problem of people who do not practice with their carry guns. Okay, and this, this is not a specific shout out to my buddy here. He he knows what he's doing wrong. Um, people who who do not practice with their carry guns, right? So they'll 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 buy their carry gun. They'll put maybe like 50 rounds or a box of 20 of defensive loads through it, and they'll, and they'll get it all maybe within a human sized target at uh, you know 10, 7 yards, something like that, whatever the preferred distance is. But whatever their qualification, whatever their standard is for being good enough, they'll say, good enough, I'm not going to go practice with it anymore. Clearly, I know how to shoot this gun. Uh, I'm not going to go and do anything else with it, right? That's, that's a big no-no. Do not do that. Uh, shooting is a perishable skill. Like, like a lot of other skills, it, it is perishable. So you should be regularly practicing with your defensive carry guns regularly, if possible. Um, so, you know, I'm not saying you have to go and burn 500 rounds a week. Um, I've, I've done that before. I <laughs> uh, would not recommend it. It gets expensive very, very, very fast. Um, but do practice, you know, at least, at least once a month, you know, 50, 50 to 100 rounds, practice drills, practice um, you know, different hands. But, you know, the point is, is to practice. My specific, like, thing that I do when I practice for my carry gun, I'm, I'll probably make that a separate video at a later time. But... The point is, you should practice with your carry gun. Never think that you're too good or you're good enough to not have to go and practice because you can always get better, you can always do better. So uh, and when the time comes where you, you, you may have to use your defensive pistol, you don't want to be lying there, you know, on the ground dying and, and thinking, man, if only I had practiced more. Never want to be in that spot, right? So anyway, back to the point. My friend here does not practice in my opinion, shooting his carry gun often enough because he makes a lot of claims and one of the claims is that 380, 380 ammo is expensive. And for what it is, it absolutely is. Uh, 380 oftentimes will go for the same price as nine mil or even more expensive than nine mil. And usually, if you find a really good online deal, I've seen as low as like 16 to 18 cents a round. Uh, but the normal average has been around the, the mid 20s to, to 30s. Uh, uh, cents per round for 380, just regular practice FMJ ammo, right? And that's pretty expensive because if you think about it, 380 is is even smaller than 9 mil. It's got less power than 9 mil, but for some reason it costs more. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But anyway, um, that's one of the reasons why he doesn't practice it uh, with it very often. Um, so you know, I said, you know what, dude? Like, you obviously like these bursts of pistols so much because one of, one of the big factors for for him anyways, was form factor and how the gun fit in his hand and how he shot it compared to other pistols, right? And we, we went through a whole long gauntlet of, of all the various pistols and different things that I had and see what he would like. And just, just ran him through the whole gambit saying, okay, do you like this? Do you like this? Do you like this? Try all of these things before you make up your mind. Don't just go with whatever the internet experts tell you you should go with. That's how you should shop for pistols in my opinion. If it fits your hand better, if you shoot it better, go with it, right? So um, he ultimately settled on a Bursa Thunder uh, Combat Plus. The it's it's the big uh, the big double stack one that has like 15, 16 rounds or something like that. 
Uh, it, it's the big chonky version of this um, in 380. He went with that because after he was uh, shooting my Walther PP, PPK pistols, he, he just really, really liked those. And these are arguably a more modernized version of those pistols, right? Obviously, it's not made in Germany, it's made in Argentina, uh, but the, the, the form factor is so, so similar in so many ways that um, it's just a pistol he really, really liked. And I thought, man, you know, if cost of ammo is really one of the big factors about why you don't practice with your carry gun, then we need to fix that. So um, as, a, as, as, a, as a payment for, well, not really a payment, but as a gift for helping me move and taking time off of his busy schedule because his his, his work schedule absolutely sucks balls it, it it's terrible man so on the few days that he does have off he actually volunteered to come out and help me um and, and i greatly appreciate that because you really don't know how much shit you have to move until you have to actually move it so anyway so i got him this um this is first of thunder in 22 and um it's for all intents and purposes, pretty much the same gun, just in the 22. And uh, I couldn't really find a whole lot of information about these things, at least not from like the big name sources like Such or like nothing fancy or any of the other gun tubers. They just don't really talk about this at all, really. Um, they'll, they'll talk about the 380 versions, but they don't really talk about the 22 much. So I didn't have a whole lot of information to go off on when I got one of these things. But uh, needless to say, it, it, it is an okay pistol. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Uh, for the purpose, of, the purpose that I got it for and the purpose that he will be using it for, it is um, adequate. I'll say that. Adequate. It doesn't blow my mind. It, it, it's not um, the best 22 pistol I've shot, but it's far from the worst. Um, you know, form factor, function, ergonomics, everything else is pretty much the same as the 380 versions, which is great. Um, that that's what I wanted. I wanted it to be the same because that way it, it, it'll it'll feel the same and he'll get some useful training out of it and learn how to shoot pistols better. Well, you know, being super cheap on ammo costs. That's the entire point of this pistol. So, um, but as far as like just looking at the pistol itself and compared to other twenty two pistols, I don't. I, I after shooting it for about three four hundred rounds of all different kinds of ammo and things like that, different ranges, uh, really getting a feel for this. There's not. In my opinion, there's not really a reason to own this as a 22 pistol when there's so many other better 22 pistol options out there. Um, the only application I could see is to use this as a trainer for a similarly uh, designed pistol, like a PPK, PP, PP series um, pistols, Makarov style pistols. This is the only this is the only reason I can think of to actually own this um, because there, like I said, there are other are so many other better options for a 22 pistol than this. Um, I thought this, not to say this is a bad gun, it's just, uh, it's, I don't know, it's mediocre. <laughs> That's not necessarily a bad thing though. Uh, so for accuracy with this, um, the sights were way, 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 way off from the factory. I had to take a, quite a bit of time to find out where these, uh, where these sights were actually hitting, even at seven and 10 yards, which is a little concerning. I don't like that with pistols when I can't find out where they're hitting from the factory. Uh, so that took me quite a little while to figure out, but um, like other Walther pistols, um, in the, kind of the same fashion, the rear sight here is adjustable for windage via a little uh, screw that goes in and out and moves it left to right. That's pretty cool. Uh, I do like adjustable sights. Uh, I mean truly adjustable. I don't mean drift adjustable where you take a hammer or a sight pusher tool and you move it around. I mean actually user adjustable with like a screwdriver or something. So anyway. Accuracy for me, um, not being particularly well trained, well experienced with Bursa pistols, it was not that great. Even you know, uh, 22 with adjustable sights, the three dot sights, uh, it it wasn't great. I I could get all the hits within um, a torso size target at any distance that I was shooting at. Um, I went all the way out to 25 yards with this, um, and I was able to get all the shots within a torso size target. That's not to say the grouping was great because it wasn't. Um, but at seven and 10 yards, I was able to, to keep it within roughly a two inch circle, which is, that's not great for me, uh, for my standards for pistol shooting. But then again, this is a pistol that I've never, never shot before. Don't have really all that much experience. The sights really aren't all that great, honestly. I mean, they're your kind of uh, standard fair three dot, but they, they, they don't quite uh, line up correctly in the sense of the, uh, the front post, if you're trying to line up the sights, like right on, um, 
The bottom edge of the front dot sits below the notch. If you're trying to line up the dots and have everything um, equal height, equal light, right? If, if you want to use that term, um, it, 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 it sits up. Uh, it, it, the rear notch just cuts the, the bottom of the, um, of the dot there. So I, I, I don't like that side picture at all. Uh, but then again, this pistol is not for me. Maybe my, my buddy will like it more than me. I don't like it. Uh, as far as value goes, um, I mean, trigger trigger is acceptable for what it is. It's not a target trigger. Uh, double action is pretty heavy, but not, not bad. Uh, I ended up paying around, I don't know, 250, 260 for this pistol, which, uh, honestly, if you ask me, this, this should be a $200 pistol, um, all day. It should not be more than that. I, I, I don't really see a reason for it to be more than that, especially considering that it only comes with one 10 round magazine and that's it. And, uh, yeah, it, it it's, I wouldn't consider it a value purchase and it just, it's another ding against this gun and why you would probably never, never buy it. Um, so honestly, if it were me, if you wanted a 22 in the same kind of like form factor as one of these, I would just go with the Walther produced PPKS, uh, 22 ones. Um, cause that is the form factor of a PPK, you know, it, it's, it's about as close as you're going to get. Uh, the double action on, on the PPKS is absolutely sucks though. It, it's, it's like freaking, I want to say like 18 or 20 pounds for like a, a, a double action pull, something absolutely nutty like that. This one is not that heavy. Um, yeah, so not, not really what I would call a value purchase. Um, what else? Uh, so the reliability with this, um, when, when, when they say, when I was doing some research and looking at forum posts and stuff, when they say to use high velocity ammunition out of these things only, they absolutely mean it because this slide is is actually pretty heavy for a 22 blowback. It's it's all steel. There's no like um, no cheapo pot metal alloy, whatever the heck they use for other guns or, or or aluminum. Even this is an all steel slide, so there's a lot more weight there. This is this this thing has to push back in order to cycle correctly. And true enough, um, whenever I use anything that pretty much wasn't a mini mag, a stinger, or a velocitor, this thing just would not feed. Uh, it, it jam every shot. It just it notoriously unreliable, which kind of sucks because uh, with other 22 pistols, like a I don't know, like a Ruger Mark IV, which is like the gold standard for 22 pistols, um, my Mark IV, my Mark II will eat uh, CCI standard velocity ammo pretty much every single time, and this thing can't even do that. So uh, not not really a fan of of only having to use high velocity ammo. Um, that being said, when I did use high velocity ammo, it worked hundred percent just fine. No issues. Um, so if you stick to what it's supposed to eat, it will work fine. Uh, I just don't like the fact that it is limited only to those high velocity ammos. Um, so what else? Uh, yeah, there's not really too much else to cover about this pistol because really it, 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 I got it for a very, 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 very specific purpose for a specific person. Um, but you know, if you're not looking for something that's in this form factor or, um, you know, for a training pistol for your own Bursa or PPK or PP pistol, uh, I honestly don't really see a reason to own one of these. Um, that's not to knock Bursa or anything like that. It's just such a, a, a niche, a niche thing, I guess. Um, Bursa makes great stuff. I've never seen anything out of them that, that wasn't, you know, good for the money. Uh, but this one just, I don't know. Uh, not my, not my, not my personal cup of tea, to be honest. But then again, it wasn't meant for me. So, um, yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah, I hope my buddy likes this as a, you know, kind of a early or late Christmas present, depending on whenever I get it to him. But, uh, yeah, um, I really like giving out 22s as, as a, as a Christmas present kind of thing, because everybody could use a 22. Everybody likes shooting 22. 22 is cheap, easy, you know, it, it's, it's just fun for everybody, you know? So anyway, that's my little review here on this uh, Bursa Thunder 22. Um, Well-made pistol, Bursa makes good stuff. Uh, it looks great, handles good in the hand, shoots okay. Maybe not the best for me, but it shoots okay. And uh, yeah, I mean, if, you, if your heart is really setting any one of these things, uh, I, I don't think you'll be disappointed with the purchase. It's just, I don't personally see a, a reason to, to own one. So just my take on it. Anyway, so that's the real quick thing I wanted to do there, and uh, 
maybe I'll do a video on, uh, on on the importance of training with your carry pistol, which should which should be pretty self-explanatory. But uh, you know, I think the message does need to be repeated every once in a while. So anyway, uh, we'll see if I'll do more videos in, in this area or not because I don't I don't really know how the acoustics are going to turn out. But um, but yeah, I mean, it's cold out there. So uh, yeah, y'all stay warm this holiday season, and uh, we'll catch you next time.